Hi students, welcome back. Today's topic is production of electricity from wind energy. In this video, we will study how wind is formed, then parts of windmill, how it works, advantages and disadvantages of using wind energy. So let's start. Wind energy comes from the sun. Wind is air in motion. Wind is caused by convection currents in the earth atmosphere driven by heat energy from sun. This means as long as the sun shines, there will be wind. So it's an everlasting renewable source of energy. How do we get wind energy? The earth's surface has both land and water. When solar radiation falls on earth's surface, the air over the land heats up quicker than over the water. The heated air is lighter and it rises. The cooler air is denser and it falls and replace the air over the land. In the night, the reverse happens. Air over the water is warmer and rises up and is replaced by cooler air from the land. This moving air or wind has huge amount of kinetic energy and this can be transferred into electrical energy using wind turbines or wind windmills. So windmill is a device which generates electricity from wind energy. So parts of windmill are wind turbine. As you can see here, this is a wind turbine which is having three blades. Then there is a rod attached to the wind turbine which is known as shaft. Then we have a small electric generator which is attached to the shaft and then there are, these are the terminals from where we get electricity or electrical energy. And this box which contains contains the electric generator and which is connected to the shaft is placed on a pillar which is known as pole. So when wind blows it makes the turbine move and this wind energy is transferred into rotational energy and then this rotational energy is taken by the small electric generator to produce electricity. So let's remember how electric generator works. Remember Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction whenever there is a change in magnetic flux linked with the coil this is a coil, this rectangular one is the coil and alternating EMF is induced. So when the armature coil moves within a magnetic field, that is when the coil is rotated within the north and south pole, which are marked in red and green color of a strong magnet, the magnetic flux linked with the coil changes and therefore an EMF is induced between the ends of the coil. And the EMF induced is of alternating in nature. Why alternating? Because it varies. One time it is positive and one time it's negative. Again positive and negative. So it's alternating of nature. So this electric generator is used inside the windmill to generate electric now let's see how does the wind generator work. On the top of each turbine is a box which is known as Michel as you can see the rectangular box and above it there is a small rotating device which gives us the direction and speed of the wind. Inside the box we can find the shaft which is attached to the blades. Then this shaft connects the generator and the wind blades or the turbine blades. This is an electric generator. Electric generator generates electricity. When the blowing wind strikes the blade of the windmill or turbine, the kinetic energy of the wind changes into rotational kinetic energy of the blades. Then the rotation of blades of the turbine rotate the armature of the generator, electric generator. There's an armature which I had shown you earlier, right? Rectangular armature. Once these blades rotate, what happens? It rotates the armature of the generator or dynamo. And the rotation of the blades of the turbine rotates the armature of the dynamo in the magnetic field between the strong pole pieces of magnet. So an alternating EMF is produced. The electric power generated by a single windmill is very small. So with the wind turbine we also attach a small transformer. So that step of transformer is used here. So to increase the voltage of the generating EMF. 
Now the electricity generated travels through the pole and then through the underground cables. Now as we can see here, there are many windmills together present. Why? Because the electric power generated by a single windmill is very small. So to generate a sufficient amount of electric power, a large number of such wind generators are arranged over a big area called wind farm and then the electric power generated by each generator is combined together for supply to the consumers. The cables take electricity generator from all the wind turbines to the substation. Then again transmission line connects the electricity from the substation to grid station throughout the region. So this is how wind generator works. Now what are the advantages and disadvantages of using wind energy? First it does not cause any kind of pollution. It is an everlasting or renewable source of energy. Disadvantages the wind farms can be established only at places near the coast areas where the wind blows around the year steadily with a speed not less than 15 km per hour. A large area of land is required for the establishment of wind farm. The establishment of wind farm is expensive. Also, the continuous sound produced by the wind farm is a disturbance for local residents nearby. So, these are the advantages and disadvantages of using wind mills. Then, do you know the largest wind turbine in the world? is located in Hawaii, stands 20 stories tall and has a length of football field. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you have understood the concept, please like and subscribe to my channel.